Well, our first guest this week's joining us in studio, Mr. Riggs Eckleberry. Riggs is the CEO of Origin Clear Incorporated, OCLN is their stock symbol. Riggs, welcome back to the program. It's great to be back. Well, great to be reinitiating coverage of the company, a new series of interviews, a very exciting company. We, in the last series, we talked about such an evolving situation. Uh, what's the latest since we last spoke? Well, you know, this we've been sort of in stealth mode stealth for mode. a few weeks because what we've been readying is the launch of WaterChain mm -hmm. with a whole executive team. Uh, we've now incubated this amazing uh, water coin mm -hmm. for about six months now. And, you know, it's a whole world. This, this, this coin world, I, I don't know how much you know about it, but... It's pretty amazing. We've had a lot of companies that have been involved with it. So it's, it's an exciting, uh, <clears throat> exciting development in the financial aspect. It is exciting. So I call it the second internet. Right. You know? um, and so we see this water coin that, that, that and, and I, if you go to originclear.com and look at my CEO updates, the most recent one talks about this. Okay. It, there's an opportunity here to do what Uber did to the cab industry. Right. Which is... Yeah, they broke the cab monopoly, but in the same process, many, many more people got into the business right. as, as small entrepreneurs, exactly. right? Well, we need to do that in water. Water today is in a terrible shape worldwide. Mm -hmm. Here in California, right. uh, the U.S. infrastructure is broken. It's going to take a lot of money to fix. It's not exactly. going to happen anytime soon, right? Uh, our government is so together, right? They're, they're working so well together, <laughs> exactly. aren't they? Exactly. So... What we need to move to, and, and the water industry agrees, is to more of a self-reliant, fix the problem on the ground where right. the problem exists. Exactly. And through a water coin, we can create a whole new generation of water entrepreneurs mm. who could solve the problem in addition to the big centralized sites that already exist. And th there's a great analogy where you have a, a bucket that's full of water, and that's all the central water treatment in the world. And another bucket has a small amount of water, which is the new decentralized ones. Okay. That bucket, once it's full, will be as large as the central. Well, we were just talking about, I was just talking about water in the monologue and uh, talking about governments taking a complicated problem and trying to solve it with a simple solution that never works. Yes, and how do you solve something simply, a, 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 the complicated problem, how do you really solve it, is through delegation. Right. Right. Look at, look at uh, mainframes always had, you know, you had to wait. You're too young to know, but you had to wait. You had, you had to wait. Your I turn. really like you, Riggs. <laughs> you had to, t you know, time sharing and all that. So then, PCs meant that, yeah, it was maybe less efficient, more machines, but more availability for us. Right. And so it solved all that problem of machine availability. Exactly. And it created a huge trillion dollar industry. So, we have the same thing in water, where centralized water is not fixing it. Let's not try to solve it centralized. Right. Let's solve it distributed. Makes perfect sense. Now. Water Chain, as I was saying, is moving towards launch, and we had a major event this week, uh, just Monday on the, the 18th, where we welcomed all of the advisors okay. and water industry stakeholders mm -hmm. to the kickoff of the Water Chain Consortium. Nice. Because we don't want to just come in and start, tell the water industry what you need to know. No, we want this to be a collaborative thing. Uh, and so we took some video, and you might want to take a look. Let's take a look at that right now. Water chain, as we launched it, was good, but a fraction of what it could be given the scope of the water crisis in the world. And people have an intuitive sense that something's wrong, but in fact, things are really in a bad place. And so you guys are a big part of what will be ultimately the solution. So we see blockchain as the connecting kind of components. And so we have some very smart technology people in this room and part of our team. And that's really where we see the ability to make a difference and do something unique. In real estate, they say it's you know location, location, location. And startups and technology company, it's team, team, team. We're going to see where the existing units are that are providing water, where there's water sources that are currently off-grid that can be connected through a blockchain together. And then where there, there's a demand and a need for it, where the dark areas are, if you will, or the dry areas. Now, not necessarily we're going to go out and buy a bunch of water, or we're going to go get a bunch of water, or clean a bunch of water. This is the system that gets wherever it came from, however it came from, and start building a market. And the nuances are actually great for us. So this is the technology part. So this is the blockchain, 
the smart contracts, which are the cryptos. This is kind of the technology piece. This is the fundraising where we have capital markets and digital currency markets. This represents that and there hopefully there will be some capital raise for this. This is the actual business. This is the water chain business. You can't go store genomic data in a blockchain. It ain't going to happen. I can put a reference to it, whack whack server name slash share name slash file dot PDF and I can put that in a database. And now you're, you're developing, which I've learned from Reese, this massive amount of data, which is really a valuable, valuable asset. Mm -hmm. And so what I like is, is creating those, and we'll create an algorithm around this that does all this. And then the form exchange, I love the partnership thing. This, this, is, this is huge. A bunch of guys that got together at Cape Canaveral, and they said, hey, guys, how do we make a, a spaceship travel through space? And I said, hey, let's dip into the, uh, each orbit, pull out enough gas, and we can turn it into a fuel and, 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 the, and the ship never needs any propulsion. Next thing you know, Orion's up there cruising around Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Things happen, you know, when you really get a bunch of guys together yep. to think about it. Okay, I'm a consortium member. I contribute data and I have a certain amount of rights to access data, but I don't have the keys to the kingdom necessarily. Is there a way that we can... You can, some nice stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You can separate who has access to it and how they use it and provide keys separately to it. Thank you all for your time. Really appreciate it. It means a lot to me because everyone in here has a, a big billing rate and I know how much valuable you guys are. So thank you again and uh, we'll, we'll get this going again in the future. David, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> are, are the peace sign too is another one to do. Well, Riggs, that is some amazing footage. You know, what you see there in this room is these top, top people really focusing on how to create a, an economy, tokenomics as we call it, around water and a water coin, and it's really happening. I was yeah. blown away, and they all said, you know, uniformly, and we'll be coming out with all the one-on-one -on -one interviews over time, that they were blown away by the quality of the people in there and how much momentum it had. I was, I was sitting there going, you know what? This thing's happening. Yeah. It's rolling. Well, business people get things done as opposed to the government, which it just seems to get, do a lot of this. So it's, it's really encouraging. And there's so much momentum in the crypto world behind this. What I like about it is now that we're rolling out water chain, you'll be hearing more about that. But also we get to focus on our core business, which is booming. And I want to tell you about that next week. This is going to be an exciting series. Once again, Origin Clear, OCLN, uh, stick with us in the next several weeks. This is going to be fun. Riggs, thanks so much. My pleasure.